My name's Neil and I, I studied journalism and political science at university. I worked in magazine publishing for about 10 years and uh, recently made the switch to uh, communications consulting. Um, I work for a, an actuarial firm and we do pension and benefit communications. What I studied in post-secondary is directly related to what I've done for my career and I know that you know I wouldn't be where I am without having that degree. I think my own determination was a big factor in my post-secondary success and I think another thing that helped me quite a bit was the people around me um, and for the most part when I say that I mean you know my friends, my, my classmates, that kind of thing. They, you know, Nobody treated me as a student with a disability. It was just sort of, you know, I was, I was part of the environment. I was part of the, the classwork and the teamwork. And, you know, um, by the same token, you know, I had close friends who were aware of my physical challenges and, um, you know, were willing to um, accommodate me without... It was sort of an un unspoken accommodation, um, you know, which was, for me was quite different. You know, I, in elementary school and high school, um, I always felt like I stood out, and you know, there was there were elements of of teasing and, and that there that uh, a, a lot of kids with disabilities go through, and um, I think when I when I first entered university, I was sort of prepared for more of that, so it. It was sort of refreshing and it really helped my mindset when I realized that, you know, hey, we're all trying to be adults and, you know, everybody just thinks of me as, as another person and, you know, so I was able to, to really get a lot more into the university environment than I ever, think I ever was in, in high school even. My disability isn't sort of quite as visibly obvious as, as some others and um, the more visi visible it is I think the more people are willing to to ask about it and to you know ask if you need accommodation um, for me that wasn't the case so I I had to sort of decide as much as possible um, what I could handle on my own and what I needed to to reach out to others for um, and ultimately you know I sort of chose the uh, going my own way more often than not but uh, you know I think if I were to, to give advice to any student going in it's to really understand that about themselves you know what what can you handle on your own and what what do you need help with you know because there's no there's no shame in asking for help and there are people out there who who want to help you who want to you know help accommodate and help you succeed I think overall, um, both when I was at university and now thinking back on it uh, several years later, um, I thought it was a great experience. You know, I, I was glad I did it and never would have traded it for the world. Um, there were sort of periods I, I can think of, you know, after my first and second year, and I think probably after my third year where, you know, Mostly from an academic perspective, you know, I, I wasn't sure I was in the right program and I wasn't sure it was the, the career path I wanted. So I was, you know, I, I sort of had those moments of like, maybe I should just quit now and, you know, try something different. Um, but I think everybody, you know, regardless of, you know, disability or, or not, goes through those, those questioning periods. And um, I'm glad that I that I stuck with it. There's nothing I regret. I look back on post-secondary education as probably the best time in my life, you know, just from the perspective of, of learning so much about the world and myself and, you know, having that freedom and becoming an adult, becoming independent. Um, for me, um, you know, if if I did have the chance to go back and do it again, one thing that I might 
do is to be more be more comfortable with the fact that I had a disability and I was in an environment where, you know, I could get together with other people who had disabilities through um, through organizations and, you know, on-campus on uh, um, communities just to um, to talk about issues and to, to sort of take in people's different perspectives. Um, for me, you know, my mindset was always, I'm, I'm just a regular person, so I don't need to, I don't need that community. But I think, um, I think everybody needs, needs a sense of community and a, a sense of, um, here's a group of people who are, who are similar to me, so um, why not take advantage of that, that shared knowledge? Um, so I would, I would probably absorb that a little bit more.